Welcome back to kneeling on fucking wall wood. Kneeling on wood, part nine. <laughs> Actually, this is the Metal Gear Recollection part nine. Thank you for returning. If you are in fact returning, this is if the first you episode. Are returning. If this is the first episode you're catching, what the heck is wrong with you? Go back to uh, episode one and catch that. Okay, this is gonna prove troublesome because this guy can see me. So is he the only guy in here? No, there are two no. men. <laughs> Fuck! Get him! Get him! Get him! I got him. Oh shit, did you get both of them at I once? I got him, but it's too late because that guy is has pressed the alarm. Shit! Alright, time to fucking fight our way out. Go loud! Go loud! Who's ready for some fucking zombie shit? Zombie shit. <clears throat> zombie splitter. It's what I do to the zombies inside your holes. What? Oh, you nasty freak. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this is how we're doing this. Oh, that's it? Nope! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Those fuckers are gone. Did not yeah, the loading screen fucking... <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Didn't even see that coming. Fucking Bruh. deal with it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So as you can see, there's a fair amount of... Uh... Fuckery. I was gonna say, there's a fair amount of uh, uh, auto aim that you get. Um. Wow! Just using Jesus. the AK, just using the AK to blow through everybody. Sorry if I get super quiet. It's because I'm concentrating on uh, dealing with these assholes. Oh God! Oh, wow! He snuck up on me and fucked my shit. He's trying to do CQC. Yeah, you're dead. Alright. Shoot let's... him. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. ba 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 Let's see, can I get a headshot on that guy? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Fuck that dude. Nah. I've killed I've killed enough men today. Uh... So you're probably asking why I went this way and not through the door that I just passed. It's because there's an easier way to sneak out up here. And it's but out you're of not this. Sneaking. Well, I, I will be sneaking now. Oh. And it actually works out a lot better because, uh, hey, look. Oh, shit. There's a thing up here I can grab. Yeah, what are you doing? There we go. I've got the chocolate chip uniform, which is good for desert or rocky environments. Environments. Environment turtles. All right, so here we are. If you uh, recognize this, we're on the outside of the labs, and it's daytime. So apparently, we spent the entire night shooting the shit with that drunk fucker down in his little sex dungeon, full of his little, full of his little toys. Time flies when you're strapped into the sex swing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you know, for anybody who's this? had a traumatic experience being strapped into a sex swing. <laughs> during this entire mission, yep, Snake, Snake doesn't sleep. Um, no, he slept with Ava uh, right in the beginning. Remember that? Yeah. I mean, that wasn't, he wasn't sleeping with Ava, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this guy can't really see me. So he gets a little sleep. He, he sleeps there. He gets some sleep in his, uh, in his cell. Um, oh shit, that's a spoiler. Uh, there's a point later where he goes to sleep. <laughs> and, um, shit. There's a point later where he goes to sleep, and if you if you quit the game and come back into the game while he's there, um, it actually triggers a really cool nightmare sequence um, that not many people have seen. And I'm not going to do it for the LP, the LP here, but it triggers a cool nightmare sequence where he has to fight off a bunch of weird, like, dudes. I don't remember what it was, like, Snake Men or some crazy shit. Mm. Yeah, I don't really remember it, but... So, you know, sorry, deal with it. Right, we got more silencers. I like that the silencers respawn. Let's see. Oh, man, there's a lot of dudes out there. You see that? A lot of dudes. Whoa! Whoa. I screwed that up. Wow. What I was trying to ha. do was that. There we go. Very nice. Did you see how that went right from uh, the, the higher caution to the lower caution? Or it's one dude getting taken out. Cause he went it. He went into actively searching for me because I put a bullet in his face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. All 
right, so let's see. With my 85% camouflage index, which is the, the, the number that's up at the top there, um, these guys can't really see me even though I am moving. All right, so let's continue on backtracking back to the building so that we can go around and do the thing with the guy in the place. And the thing. Yeah. Ha hashtag brick, what's happening? Okay, so we talked about we talked about emotions before, and here we are going to see that guy that was running on the water and shooting us with arrows. Hey, it's Gregory. It is Gregory, and I believe that is going to be Gregory for the uh, uh, remainder of the playthrough. Um, in homage to our previous shitty LP. Oh man, he's really got me pinned down. Yeah. Also, yeah. poison but hurts. Sh <laughs> you see him just try to pull it out, and he couldn't do it. It's, it's like he's got deep. barbed spikes on there. <laughs> it's in the bone! It's in the bone! So, I don't know if this is supposed to be an homage to Predator, but it's a pretty good homage to Predator if you think it's a good homage to Predator. Except that the the guys in Predator didn't have night or uh, thermal goggles. Nope. <clears throat> Which probably would have helped. The Brazilian Wandering Spider. I wonder why he picked the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Because it's the most excruciating pain. You never run into these guys. You never run into these guys as, like, quarters. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you never go to his room and he's just got a bunch of little atriums full of spiders and shit that he uses. Oh, okay. You, That's you don't get to go to the, the, the Payne's Beehives. That would be... You know what? That'd, that'd actually be really cool. Go to the Payne's Beehives? Yeah. Well, his body was the beehive. Yeah. But what about... So guy? look at this badass shit. Well, I mean, he doesn't need a beehive. He's the Fia! Dude. Crazy motherfucker. Somebody call an exorcist. So back, back with the weird superhuman shit again. However, I like that a lot of these guys' superhuman shit was... Uh, Whoops, was, uh... I'm getting a call. I wanted to answer the call. Here we go. From paramedics saying, Hey, Snake! You're fucking fucked up, Snake! Ow! No, you're gonna die! If you die, how can you strip search me? Oh. I don't think she was ever into that. No, I don't think so either. She's just... If it was a movie, she'd probably be into it. Uh, yeah, you're right. Serum. Is that is that a good track record in like a thing of popular media? There's three there's three women in this game, right? Only one of them wants to fuck Snake. Is that is that good, or is that still like a bad ratio? I like how he is actively telling us that we will die if we don't neutralize the poison. Wait, go back to the X-ray vision. It's in the bone. It is in the bone. Actually, no, That's, it's not. It just missed it, the bone here. Oh. Look at that. God damn, that would hit the femoral artery. Yeah. Yep, that's why we're not going to pull it out, dude. Jesus Christ. That's why we're going to leave it there. Which is going to handicap me here, but fuck you, you're not my dad. It's Gregory! Uh, backpack. He's back! I'm about it. Yes, Gregory the, the bolt. Alright, so with thermal goggles, like, see, he's invisible. With thermal goggles, there he is. It makes this fight trivial. Um, although, I really should be... Oh, and oh. there's another Gregory. Eh. <clears throat> Where'd he hit you this time? In the back? I don't know. I'm going to use the pistol for this fight. It's not too bad. Yep. yep, right in the back. That one I will remove, except I hit the wrong damn button to do it here. Uh, let's see, let's see. I want to cure that. I didn't get poisoned, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Disinfectant, styptic, bandage, knife. There we go. That one's out. Cool. Okay. Camouflage. Except last time when we got shot, it got shot in the nuts. Oh, did, oh. Remember? Well, we had pulled out. We had pulled out the initial one, and then we got hit again. And then I think you, out of spite, trying to spite me, decided not to pull that one. So uh, uh. this is a shotgun fight, and as you can see, that took out like a seventh of his health. There's another... Alright, it's not going to work at that distance. Focus! Focus! Uh, where are you? 
Oh shit. Ah, fuck him up, fuck him up. So if you're good enough, you can anticipate the trees he's jumping to and be waiting to fire at him every time he gets to a tree. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, girl? Oh, Behind shit. you! Shoot good! Quip shotgun. Oh shit, he got me. Ha! But that's okay, I got him. I've already got him down to half health. Jeez, this is fast. Yep. So this is a great boss fight if you don't skis it out like I'm doing here. Which, granted, I mean, it's a lot more difficult to, to follow him and to kill. Oh, that looks rough. Woo! <laughs> looks like getting a fucking, your blood drawn at a VA clinic. Ooh. <laughs> now he's just playing. Oh, shit! Or vampire. Come on. Do the thing. Shoot his face off. It's a very cool boss design that's kind of hindered by the fact that I can just put on these goggles and then all I have to do is track well, him down and shoot him. You do have to worry about batteries. Uh, you are correct, sir. And I'm actually down on batteries. Oh shit, I'm looking the wrong way. And I've been hit again. That's the other kind of annoying thing about this boss battle is every time he hits you... No, oh, he's straight. He's, Whoa. He kicked me. He kicked me. I'm actually going to have to use some life medicine here and cure myself. Yep. Uh, life medicine is over here. I can get rid of the crocodile cap now. No, don't. Just cure myself I don't again. I do want the crocodile cap. Because <clears throat> I want to. Disinfectant, styptic, bandage, and knife. There we go. I pulled it out. Yeah. Okay. So see, just out of, out of looks of it here, since I've been <clears throat> messing him up, you can see when he moves, he got... Oh, shit, shit, shit. I get the electric thing here. So this is... He's in, eating. He can feed all he fucking wants. Oh, he's coming. Coming. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, His camouflage uses a lot of energy. Shit. Shotgun is not fast enough. His camouflage uses a lot of his stamina, which actually kind of helps with... Uh... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? With, uh... It helps with fighting him if you're trying to get his um, camouflage, which is stealth camouflage. It doesn't actually turn you invisible, but it keeps your... Um... It keeps your... God damn. Index pretty high. Yes, please. It keeps your camo index very high. Oh man, I could probably CQC him. That shit. I tried to CQC him. That would have been awesome. That would have been. Toss him. Yeah, I don't think. Shoot him in the fucking face. I don't think I've ever. Yeah, oh! we got him. Oh, look at him fall down. Hell yeah. Nice. Where was I going with that? I don't think I've ever gotten him with the with the CQC. So I don't know if it's even possible. If you're watching this and and you know, please let us know in the comments. But um, like I said, there are some. There are some bosses in this game you can defeat via CQC. Um, and I don't know if this is one of them. As he explodes not into chunks, but into poison arrows of death. Which mm. begs the question, where the fuck was he carrying 600 arrows that were covered in... Recently covered in poison. Jizz. I mean poison. So that was the Fury fight. It's a fun one, but we've been blasting through boss fury fights. that's the fear bruh whoops you're right i am sorry <laughs> so we now have we now have an arrow stuck in our leg that we can't get rid of nope uh which is fine oh there was an explosion attached to that one <laughs> ow ow oh. so i'm gonna have to deal with that God damn it. Oh wait, did you want the other camo that was here? There's camo in here? Yeah, besides the boss one. Where is it? Um shoot, what is this? Where is this? Yes. It's... Please bring your thing back up. Make your uh make your way back to the small river. The small river Oh no, I'm not going all the way back there. What Fuck that, that's stupid. You're stupid. What? Yeah, girl. Uh, Alright. No small river, then. No small river. 
A river runs through it. Oh. Where's the guy? The guy is down there. Yep. Oh, shit. Well, somebody, wow. Someone down there saw me. Then again, my camo index is fucking terrible. Great. I've been stabbed. <laughs> That's vaguely annoying. Step, 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 step. Wow, he stabbed me in the middle of throwing his buddy on the ground and then started shooting at his buddy. That's not very nice. The radio's gone. I must have... I wonder if that was the guy I shot before. Because somehow his radio was missing. Did you see that? Yeah. Somebody was complaining um, about a radio being gone. Oh, there he is. Nope. So I've got the key card that gets me through this door now, which leads me back towards the mountains, which leads me towards the base. Uh, while I'm here really quick, I'll go back into my cure menu and fix this cut. Suture bandage, styptic disinfectant. And our little you, arrow friend is still with us. Hey, uh, I just realized something. What's that? I don't like this. Uh-oh. Um, during the next boss fight, yes, you know who it is. You can hold him up without a, uh, just hold him up with a non trank gun and he'll drop his camo. Yes! You don't have to, like, actually, like, use a trank to get rid of his stamina. Yep. But... No, hold him up with, uh, hold him up with a grenade. Just pick up the grenade and hold it and be like, hey, asshole! <laughs> you don't want to have a little conversation while you're sitting right next to him? This can go two ways. No, not like the other LP. Like I said, with this upcoming boss fight, there are so many ways to approach it, which is part of the, or one of the reasons I think that it's one of the best boss fights in gaming. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many ways to approach it that I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little, a little bada bing, bit of bada boom. Yeah. Fuck it. <sighs> so here we are, plot dumping again. Hey, we gotta go to the blah 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 and do the blah 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 and do the thing. Yeah. I'm not speaking very intelligently about uh, what's going on in these games today. What's wrong with you? Are you tired? I'm... I don't know. I think I'm at a little bit of a loss for words. Mm. Oh, man. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, there we go. Slowly disrobing. Uh, gross. Yes, my pants are off. Got it. So now we need to go to the top of the mountains. This whole game's kind of a fetch quest. Get the key to go here, to go here, to go here to kill the shit out of the guys. Mm -hmm. So there's a sniper. So we're gonna have a sniper fight. What's interesting about this sniper fight versus every other sniper fight that's appeared in the series up to this point is this is the first open area one. It's not a corridor. It's not a general area. It's, and you can hide from this guy. It's fucking incredible. And it's coming up soon, and you're going to see some weird stuff. Um, this guy, the end, is extremely important to um, exactly one game in the future of this series. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is very important. Um, and they explain... Because this guy, this guy's a little more freaky than the other guys. The other guys uh, can kind of... The other members of the Cobras, their their powers, their their combat abilities can be kind of explained away. Um, excuse me. Nanomachines. No, 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 no. No nanomachines. In all seriousness, they can kind of be... Um, uh, fuck. There's some, plaus There's some plausibility to their abilities. Yes, you can... I mean, you can't control bees, but if you notice in the boss fight, he gets the bees to attack me by throwing a chemical at me. Um, which means that he... Ow, fuck, my headset. He may be controlling the bees by chemicals. The fear... You know, he's using technology and the ability to dislocate his arms to hop around like a crazy person. So even though he runs on water at one point, it's still technically, you know, slightly more feasible than some of the other guys. But the ends... Uh, techniques, the end's abilities are so fucking out there um, that it ha it ha it needs to have some type of explanation. And uh, it's actually a big part of Metal Gear Solid V uh, that explains this guy and what he does and, and how he does it. And it's a... It's a oh, okay. It's a very interesting explanation. Um, yeah, shot you in the face, bitch. So it's okay. Yeah, don't yeah. don't worry about it. If you know anything about the game, it'll kind of explain it. And like mm -hmm. I said, I'm not gonna 
I'm not trying to spoil that because we will get to that eventually. Uh-oh. Someone saw me somewhere. That's right. You must be seeing things. You just you just walk away wherever you were. Man, I wish yeah, I Yeah, that ex that explains a lot. I just thought about it. Cuz I know a little bit about the game. I haven't actually played it. I've watched like a couple playthroughs of like a couple parts. There he is. Here there he there. is. You see him? You see him? Yep. Shit. Oh, Fuck. you missed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's taking care of that guy. All right, so we, we're going to go on a quick detour here. Uh, detour. We got enough time. You know the area that's coming up here. Yes, I do. I know it quite well. Which which one? Huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost each other there. Um, no, it, the actually, boss fight's coming up soon. No, there's another optional area here. Oh. Gets me to some shit, remember? Yeah, that's right. So we gotta go up here and to the <coughs> right, I believe. Alright. Now here we gotta stalk super slow, because there are other people there. There's one right there. Hey, buddy. Notice I am killing these guys non-lethally right now. There's no real reason for that. I just yeah. happen to be doing it. There's another guy right there. Oh wow! Did you see? Did you see how easy the thermal goggles made finding these guys in this denser jungle here? It's freaking crazy! I literally it, turned it on and I'm like, oh, there's a guy right over there. There's a guy. How about that? Yeah. So here's another here's another little optional area where you can pick up some more weapons, um, specifically one that becomes a lot of fun later in the game, a lot of fun later in the game. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh man, there's a man right there. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. His buddy saw me. Oh, kill mode. Kill mode. I only have two fucking bullets. He's dead. There we go. I only have two bullets for my silenced weapon. But you know what? What? It just occurred to me, sir. Yes. What did I pick up that we now get to play with? Uh... Boo -boo! Yeah. XM16E1. Just don't put the silencers on. No, I will put the silencers on for this area. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm well, then. I'm going to be clearing out this area in order to be able to explore it more easily. I'll put this weapon in single fire mode. All right, let's see. Um, this game originally came out on the PlayStation 2, which its controller had pressure-sensitive buttons, which allowed you to uh, control things more fluidly. They had to... Um, they had to change the way that they went about that for this release because obviously you don't have uh, pressure sensitive buttons on the Xbox 360 controller like they are digital yeah go look at your friend shit shit there we go that guy's out okay cool I only recently discovered this very cool little ridge here are you still with me I think so. Okay. I couldn't hear you at all for a second. Yeah. There. I was like, that's weird. Did you just get stupid quiet for a minute there for some reason? I uh, don't know. Those <laughs> bodies are still warm. Let Ew. the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the... Ch -ch ah! I fucking hate that song. If you ever sing that song to me at my birthday, I'll shit in your mouth. I guess I'll be singing it to you then. No, that's Oasis. Wow, that guy died hard. Look at the way his face is, like, snapped up against the fence. <laughs> that sucks for him. All right, he how did. many other people are in the area? Do we see anybody else? No, there's a ton of people in this area. I want to do my very best, like no one ever was, in order to Whoa. clear this area out effectively. So here's another thing I've never done before, which is go on the roof of this fucking place. Yeah, I've never done that either. Is there anything up here? No, it's just an, another way to kind of look around. Huh. Oh, look, you can see through the ceiling. Oh, because this is old, rotted, busted up building. That's awesome. That is super cool. Isn't this the place where I went crazy with the machine gun, the war pig? Yes, this is the place where we decided to say fuck it and start murdering people. Oh no! Boop. Is there anybody in there? Yes! Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! Goddamn controls! Yes, you did hear footsteps. 
which way are you going to go to find those footsteps? I'm going to go that way. Can I get you through here? Nope. Okay. We're going to lay down and... Oh, he sees a dead body. Want to see a dead body? Do you want to see a dead body? Where'd he go? There he is. I'm going to grab that pussy. Pa! It's like my friend is dead. No, no, I am dead. I dead. Tony day dead. 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 <sighs> so yeah, obviously right now we're just grabbing bullets at this point, but uh, there is a very important uh, weapon bullets. in here. Bullets! Yay, more silencers. I like how they just start throwing silencers at you after an amount of time. It's like, hey, here, use this. T and thing we put in the game. I think it's very smart for for Soviet soldiers to store TNT underneath their beds. I mean, that's just the most logical place to put, you know, a relatively unstable explosive. <laughs> right underneath your bed in a rotting building. So there's the, <laughs> there's the thing we came for. We got it. It's a fucking M63, and Snake screams like Rambo when he fires it. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. It's freaking awesome. So we cleared through there without any uh, without any combat ooh, alertus, which is fantastic. Ooh. <coughs> yep. <coughs> and oh, let's God. let's leave this optional area and move on to some super fun shit. Yes. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. Wonder if there's any interesting. I wonder what Sigint has to say. About this uh, M16, if he says anything. Was saying that oh no, we're talking about the tanks again. Well, there's a little flavor text. This is fine. Do you have any idea this is cool. Do you have any this idea what cool. he meant? This is actually really cool pseudoscience that explains how this uh, the Shagohad machine works, and we'll get to it later in the game here. But it's it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> The, the, it's actually the way they, they word this in English is um, really interesting because they call it phase two of the Shagohad project. Um, and if you think about it, yeah, they call it phase two. That's what the rockets have to do with, which if you think about it, phase two, stage two, like stage two of a rocket firing, huh? Maybe it has something to do with acceleration. Yeah. Isn't that neat? I always, yeah. I always thought that was neat. Uh, once I kind of figured it out. And I could be reading too much into that like a fucking asshole, but if I am, fuck you, you're not my dad. <laughs> you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to believe and not believe. You're not the wiki. <laughs> oh, shit. Cool. Murder. Murder him. He's dead. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> except your corpse. 